So I got a request to take the rope brush that I created here. Uh, there's a tutorial on how to create this. And to take that rope texture, that, that tiling uh, rope feel, and put that onto um, the curve brushes that I created, uh, the curve knot brushes that, rather, that I created. So there's two steps to that. The first is to create a rope tile on this actual brush, and I'll do that as an insert mesh brush, and I'll do that in this tutorial. And then in the next tutorial, which I'm not quite sure when it'll be, but hopefully soon enough, we'll take that and, and turn that into an IMM curve brush. So we have this texture running all the way along this, and we can draw out curves, and we have these knots on either end of it. Uh, and we can mix and match those knots afterwards if, if need be. So over in ZBrush now, we're going to take a file that I will put up on Gumroad so you have access to this. Um, this has four different knot types in it. There's the, the clove brush or clove hitch rather and uh, the slip knot Now I rotated these at random directions when I was creating them unfortunately So you just have to center them on your screen when you're working on them Just press F and that will center it uh, and you may press F sometimes and may have to rotate your screen around So you can use this guy to do that depending on which way I had accidentally created it the first time So once you've got this we're going to use these to create um a rope textured version of the same thing so just press F on this I'm gonna put this in maybe this direction for the moment and what we need to do now is to make this into a rope brush like this so if you press a on this all you're effectively doing is you're turning on adaptive skin down here in your adaptive skin rollout and I've set that in this file to default to zero dynamesh resolution and a density of one. So this will make sure that it doesn't use Dynamesh. If we had this turned on, and we pressed A, you'll see that we get this really dense Dynamesh object, which is not what we're looking for. I'll press A again to turn it off. I'll turn Dynamesh resolution down. And if we add our density up higher, you'll see that we get this quite dense um, mesh here. That's not what we're looking for either. We just want one with the minimal amount on it. Like, but So that's all there by default press A to toggle that on and off, but this is not the result that we're looking for. We want this rope texture along here. So all we're actually gonna do is use, we won't, we'll use this afterwards, but all we're actually gonna do now is we want our curve to go in the middle of the C-sphere chain. And that's what we're going to tile this ZBrush, uh, tile this rope texture through. So to do that, you're gonna need a plugin. Uh, that plugin is called Curves Helper. You can install it by putting it into your uh, ZBrush Z startup Z plug 64 directory. Um, it's called curves helper.zsc. Now I can't find that on the internet. The, the link to it is broken online. Uh, it was developed by Marcus Civis, C I V I S, on zebracentral.com. Uh, I'm going to try and track it down if I can. It was a free plugin that he developed for, I think it was four or seven, and it still works to this day. I just copied an old one into my startup Z plug 64 directory, and it worked. Um, so Try and find it online. I'll also try and find it online. And if somebody does let me know if they find a link to it, then I can put that link in the description for everyone else. So this is the plugin we're gonna need. We're gonna use this to, first of all, copy the Z-Sphere chain. So to do that, we need to make sure, first of all, that we have the Z-Sphere selected and not the other object. So make sure this is selected. Then go to Z plugin, copy Z-Sphere chain. So that's copied. But now we want to create the curve. Now we can't create a curve on Z-Sphere, so we need to change to another object, which is why we have this bar object over here. I'll press Shift F just to turn off this, but this is selected. And now I go to Z plugin and I'll hit create curve. It'll take a couple of seconds and we now have a curve. So the Z-Sphere chain here is no longer necessary. We can hide that. That's actually not doing anything. This curve is on this object. So in order to create the rope texture, you'll need to install the brush that I created earlier on. So you can either follow the tutorial for the thick rope. Uh, again, the link will be in description, or you can uh, download the actual brush that I created for you. If you do, you just need to press B, load brush, browse to wherever you put the, the file, and then take the IMM curve thick rope. And that's the file that you're loading. Once you load that, you'll have that as your active brush, uh, your stroke, settings would be this. I would recommend that you turn off snap just because of the way this is going to work. So if I click on this now, this rope is going to be this size and this texture. Now you can see it's not fitting exactly in the middle because obviously the size of this is going to determine where this sits. So if I can make the brush slightly smaller by pressing S and just making it slightly smaller and then clicking on the curve again, it will be a slightly smaller curve. It's still not sitting perfectly on this, but because this curve brush is selected, we can take our cursor, hover over it, 
When it turns blue, press S to change it to whatever size of influence that we'd like, and then just move this stuff. So I can just kind of massage or, or nudge this plus this stuff into the shape that we want. We want. If this happens, just undo. If you accidentally select something, and basically just make sure that this is the shape that you're looking for. So once you're happy with it, happy being a strong word. Once you're happy with it, you can just click anywhere off the curve, like on the on the object here, and we now have a rope texture brush on this. So the same can be repeated for all of the other Z-Sphere chains. Same deal again, Z-Sphere selected, create the chain, hide it, select your object, create the curve, click once on the curve, uh, press D for dynamic subdivision. Well, all that does is basically turn this on or off. Uh, D and shift, sorry, shift D will turn it off, D will turn it on. If it's too big, I press, just make your brush slightly smaller. Click on it again until you get it to be the size that you want. So that's it for now. Um, I'll do another one on making an IMM brush so you can actually just draw this out as a curve and we'll have this knot on one end and also on the other end with this rope texture tiling all the way along it. So as usual, hope you liked the video, hope it was useful to someone. Do feel free to subscribe or to like the video and leave a comment if you have any thoughts or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see or comments on this tutorial, especially if you have a link to the Z-Curves helper plugin. That would very much appreciate it. Cheers, bye.